tender coffee is moderate with intake if you drink fruit juice uh, choose 100 percent fruit juice and limit the serving size to avoid excessive uh, sugar intake mindful eating listen, listen to your body and practice mindful eating by paying attention Okay, guys, so welcome to our channel. The channel is Nazvin. Can you give me a subscribe? I want to encourage you to subscribe, to subscribe. And today we are going to talk about something very important. We are talking about sugar. Sugar, yes. We are going to talk about matter sugar. When you look at uh, sugar, is a very highly used product. It can be used as an additive or it can be used uh, plainly in our daily cooking. But I'm going to give you the reasons why you should quit sugar. So all the benefits of uh, quitting sugar. When you look at sugar, it's a very political issue. So because uh, when you look at the, the investment which is done on the sugar industry, it's a lot of money. That's why most of the time it's not very, it doesn't all go well when we talk again the, the sugar use because of the kind of investment and the kind of income which is expected in this quitting or significantly reducing sugar intake can offer numerous healthy benefits and uh, I'm going to give you the compelling uh, reasons to consider when you want to quit sugar so number one is about weight management because of the reduced caloric intake sugar foods or sugary drinks uh, are often high in empty calories contributing to weight gain so cutting out sugar can help uh, with weight loss and also prevent obesity number two it uh, lower risk of chronic disease so especially when we talk about uh, diabetes excess sugar intake can lead to insulin resistance especially increasing the risk of type 2 diabetes so also uh, also on heart disease when we talk about chronic illness high sugar consumption is linked to uh, heart disease including levels high levels of uh, bad cholesterol or what you call LDL and the triglycerides. Uh, so it's, very, it's also a predisposing, a predisposing factor for that one very important also we have uh, improved dental health when you, uh, you reduce your sugar intake you have improved dental health, especially with cavities and tooth decay. Sugar is a leading cause, according to the studies, of uh, uh, cavities and tooth decay. So reducing sugar intake helps maintain uh, uh, oral health and also prevent dental problems. Number four is about better skin health, uh, especially with acne and skin aging. High sugar consum consumption can cause insulin spikes which may trigger acne and also accelerate skin aging. So reducing sugar can lead to clearer skin and also more youthful appearance. Number five is about enhanced energy levels. Stable blood sugar comes about by quitting sugar, help maintain the stable blood sugar levels, leading to more consistent energy levels uh, throughout the day and avoiding highs and lows associated with the sugar consumption. Number six is about improved mental health by bringing about what we call mood stability. So when we have high sugar intake is linked to uh, mood swings, anxiety and depression. So reducing sugar can help uh, stabilize mood and also improve overall mental well-being of, uh, of, uh, of an individual. Number seven is about better living, uh, better digestive health when you talk about we talk about this it's about reduced inflammation sugar can cause inflammation of the in the body leading to digestive issues and a chronic inflammatory conditions so reducing the sugar intake helps to decrease the inflammation and also improve the gut health number eight is about improved liver health so fatty liver disease uh, is, uh, with excessive use of the sugars especially fructose can lead to non-alcoholic uh, liver disease or what you call NFLD so cutting down sugar can protect the liver health and also prevent NFLD number nine is enhanced immune function 
where immune response is activated with high sugar intake we, uh, we weaken our immune system making body or the the organs susceptible to the, to infections so reducing sugar strengthen uh, gets to strengthen the immune system at the end of the day but uh, is about uh, what you call better sleep when we talk about better sleep we sleep we mean about uh, what you call sleep quality high sugar intake particularly close to bedtime can disrupt the sleep patterns cutting sugar can contribute to better sleep mm -hmm. and also uh, quality and overall effectiveness number 11 is about reduced risk of cancer so cancer growth some studies suggest that uh, High sugar intake can be linked to high risk of certain types of cancer. Reducing sugar can potentially lower the risk. Number 12 is about longevity and overall health. So overall well-being, reducing sugar intake, contribute to overall better, better health. Longevity of life, we mean that uh, prolonged life and also improved quality of life. So guys, those are the 12 uh, benefits we get when we quit sugar. I've talked about... Uh, weight management. I've talked about uh, low risk of chronic diseases like diabetes and uh, other diseases, improved dental health by avoiding cavities and also tooth decay, better skin uh, skin health, we reduce the number of acne and skin aging, acceleration, enhanced energy levels also is another one, improved mental health, better digestive health, improved liver health, enhanced immune function, better sleep, uh, reduced the risk of cancer and number 12 is about longevity and overall well-being so very important tips of quitting sugar always when you buy products read labels be aware of hidden sugars in the processed foods health alternatives replace sugar snacks with fruits nuts and also healthy options stay hydrated drink plenty of water to reduce sugar cravings balanced diet focus on balanced diet with hopeful, uh, whole food including the vegetables lean proteins and all, all grains gradual reduction is very key where you gradual you gradually reduce your sugar intake to maintain transition e easier and also more sustainable so by reducing or quitting sugar you can experience significant improvement of various aspects in your life so like i've mentioned managing sugar intake effectively involves a combination of dietary changes lifestyle adjustments and mindful eating habits so some of the strategies to help you reduce the sugar or quit sugar number one is dietary changes when we talk about dietary changes i mentioned about reading food labels check ingredients listed in hidden sugars often labeled as sucrose high fructose corn syrup uh, dextrose and other sugar derivatives pay attention to the nutritional labels uh, to monitor the sugar content and also in the foods. Uh, number two is about choose whole foods. We focus on whole foods. That's on processed foods like uh, uh, vegetables, nuts, uh, lean proteins, and whole grains. Fresh whole food, typically less added sugar compared to processed foods. Reduce, uh, and also reduce sugary beverages when we talk about uh, cut out sodas, fruit juices energy drinks and other sugary beverages replace them with the water and also herbal teas or beverages sweetened with natural or low calorie sweeteners like uh, stevia healthy snacking opt for healthy snacks such as for the nuts seeds yogurt and fresh fruit instead of sugary uh, desserts and also snacks keep uh, snacks uh, readily available to avoid reaching for sugary options for the healthy snacks guys cook at home that's also another option where you prepare meals at home where you can control the ingredients to avoid hidden sugars found in restaurants and pre-packed uh, foods and also experiment with recipes that use natural sweeteners or non sweeteners at all lifestyle adjustments is about a gradual reduction slowly reduce sugar intake and also make transition easier and more sustainable so gradual decrease in the amount of, of sugar you, uh, you, are, you add to coffee, tea and recipes is also very key. Also number seven is about mindful eating. Practice mindful eating by suffering with each bite and being aware of hunger and the fullness cues. So avoid eating out of boredom or emotional triggers. 
Also, very important, regular exercise, engage in regular physical activity to help manage blood sugars and reduce the sugar cravings. Exercise can also improve mood and also reduce stress, which can help minimize emotional eating. Managing craving, number one, how you should manage it is about staying hydrated. We may drink a plenty of water throughout the day. Sometimes dehydration can be mistaken for cravings. Herbal teas and water can infu be infused in fruits and also uh, herbs can also be very sat uh, satisfying. Uh, uh, also very key guys is about sleep. Uh, we talk about adequate sleep. Uh, a seven to eight hours of sleep is very key. This can increase uh, can increase craving, uh, the lack of sleep can can increase the cravings for sugar foods. So maintain regular schedules for sleep and create restful sleep environment. Uh, that is very key. Also healthy fats and proteins is very key. The way healthy fats are, in, in, are involved, and we talk the fats from like avocados, from nuts, and also olive oil proteins like uh, lean meats legumes and daily in your diet to keep you full and reduce the cravings for sweets. Manage stress is very key. Practice uh, stress reduction techniques such as yoga, meditation, deep breathing, hobbies to reduce the urge to consume a lot of sugar. Support and accountability, track your intake is very key. Keep a uh, food diary or <coughs> your, of your sugar intake and identify patterns or triggers consuming or which uh, trigger you for consuming sugar foods. Use apps or journals to, say, to stay accountable and also monitor progress. Also, it's very key also that you seek support. Talk to nutritionist or dietitian for personal advice and also support. Also, you can join the support group or find a friend or a family member to share goals on the progress uh, with. By implementing these management uh, strategies, you can successfully reduce the or quit sugar leading to improved health and also well-being. Sometimes we have uh, complications. Uh, quitting sugar can lead to various complications, particularly if done abruptly or without proper planning. That's why we need to do it gradually and also plan for it. So some of the potential communications uh, or complications which can come about and how you can manage them. We talk about sugar withdrawal symptoms. We may have a health headache. Sudden reduction in sugar intake can lead to headache. Uh, staying hydrated and uh, gradual reduction reducing sugar can help manage this fatigue feeling tired or fatigue is common during the initial phase of withdrawal of sugar so ensure you get enough sleep maintain a balanced diet to support the energy levels also mood swings can come in irritability anxiety or mood swings can occur so practice stress reduction techniques such as meditation exercise or deep breathing exercises at the end of the day Cravings and uh, relapse is also another complication where intense craving, strong cravings uh, for sugar foods make it difficult to stick to your goal. So combat uh, cravings by eating balanced meals and also with proteins, fiber and healthy fats. Keep health snacks available at that particular point. Nutrient deficiency, deficiencies is also another one where nutrient replacement comes a uh, key where some individuals may, may replace sugary foods with unhealthy alternatives. Uh, so lacking in the essential nutrients, ensure that it includes a variety of fruits, vegetables, lean proteins and whole grains to maintain proper nutrition at the end of the day. Digestive issues can also be another complication. Changes in gut bacteria, sugar feeds certain types of gut bacteria. So cutting sugar can alter your gut microbiome. So potentially causing temporal digestive issues like bloating or irregular bowel movements, eating probiotic rich foods like yogurt. Uh, kefir and also fermented vegetables uh, can help maintain the health of the gut. Social challenges, when we have social pressure, social gatherings often involve sugar foods and making it challenging to avoid sugar. So plan ahead of by bringing your own healthy alternatives or eating before attending the events. That's very key. Dining out, restaurants may have limited sugar free options. So check menus ahead of time and choose dishes, dishes with minimal uh, added sugars. Number six, complication is emotional and psychological effects. See, but, but when we talk about comfort eating, sugar is often associated with comfort and reward. 
So finding an alternative way to cope with stress or uh, emotional distress is crucial considering engaging in hobbies, checking, uh, talking to a friend or practicing relaxation techniques. Uh, mental adjustment. So adjust to a low sugar lifestyle to take time. So stay positive and, and patient, be patient with yourself as you, uh, you adopt to new eating habits. Strategies to manage the, these complications about gradual reduction uh, is very key. Healthy substitutes is very key. Balanced diet is very key. Staying hydrated. Support system is another one where you seek support from friends, family, and also professional to help you uh, stay on track and manage your challenges. Mindful, uh, mindfulness and also stress management is also another key. So on the preventing this compli of these complications, healthy eating habits is very key, where we advocate for balanced diet. Portion control is also be mindful of portion sizes, especially when consuming food that contain uh, a lot of sugar. Uh, uh, so it's very key that you control your, 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 your intake, especially when you eat fruits. Fruits are high in fructose, so very to avoid excessive sugar intake. Regular meals, eat regular meals and snacks to prevent the extreme hunger which can lead to sugar cravings. Reading food labels identify hidden uh, sugar, hidden sugars, like identify, look for ingredients like sucrose, high fructose corn syrup, uh, dextrose, maltose, and also sugar, other sugar derivatives. Choose low sugar options, often uh, uh, foods labeled no, uh, no added sugar or low sugar whenever as much as uh, also, health op options, alternatives, natural sweeteners, use of natural sweeteners such as stevia, monk fruit or a small amount of honey or maple syrup is, instead of refined sugar is very important. Fruit as a sweetener, use fruit like bananas, aprils or dates to naturally sweeten your recipes. So limiting sugary beverages, water and herbal teas are very key. Drink uh, water, uh, herbal teas and also water infused into fruits and herbs instead of sugary drinks, uh, soda like sodas, energy drinks, and sweetened uh, coffees. Moderate choice intake. If you drink fruit juice, uh, choose 100% fruit juice and limit the serving size to avoid excessive uh, sugar intake. Mindful eating. Listen, listen to your body and practice mindful eating by paying attention to anger and fullness cues. Avoid eating out of boredom and emotional triggers. Enjoy treats occasionally. Allow yourself to enjoy sugar treats occasionally in moderation rather than make them regular part of your diet. Healthy snacking is also another way where nutrition, uh, nutritious snacks are very encouraged. Give uh, snacks like nuts, seeds, yogurt and also vegetables with the humors and also fresh fruit uh, on hand to reduce the temptation of sugar in, uh, sugary snacks. Avoid also, preparation, prepare snacks and meals in advance to avoid uh, reaching to convenient sugar options. Number seven is about regular physical activity, that was another one. So, exercise, engage in regular physical activity to reduce uh, regular blood sugar levels, management, manage weight and also reduce stress. These which can decrease the sugar cravings. Active lifestyle, incorporate more physical activity in your daily routine, such as walking, by biking or taking the stairs so that you get to remain that active in your life. Stress management is also another one. Relaxation techniques, uh, well, like yoga, meditation, deep breathing exercises, or hobbies to prevent emotional eating, and also cravings is also a very key thing. Stress management is a very key. Relaxation techniques, where we practice stress-reducing uh, techniques like yoga, meditation, deep breathing exercises, or hobbies to prevent emotional eating or sugar cravings. Stress management uh, is, also, is a key thing. Support and accountability. Educate yourself and your family about the healthy risks associated with high sugar intake and the benefits of low sugar diet. So uh, that's very key. And also if you need be, support network is very key from family, health professionals uh, to stay you motivated and accountable in your efforts to reduce the sugar intake. Regular checkups is also another way where your health monitoring should you your regular checkups with your health care provider to monitor your overall health, blood sugar levels and raise any concerns promptly. So consult with your nutritionist and the dietitian for personalized advice and also guidance on maintaining the balanced uh, low sugar diet. 
So by implementing the strategies, you can reduce the sugar intake and also avoid uh, the risks associated with high sugar consumption and improve your overall well-being. So the benefits of uh, quitting sugar is weight management, reduced of chronic illnesses, improved dental health, better skin health, uh, enhanced energy levels, better digestive health, improved life, liver health, uh, enhanced immune function, better sleep, longevity and overall functioning of the body. Yeah, that's those are the key areas of when you reduce your your sugar intake. So guys, by understanding the benefits on managing sugar intake effectively and implementing the preventive measures, you can significantly improve your health and overall well-being. So guys, those are the reasons why you should quit sugar and like I mentioned, this should be progressive and the, 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 the benefits are humongous as mentioned in the 12 aspects. Guys, welcome. The channel is Nazwin. In, uh, my name is Vincent. This is where we get to talk matters medical in a simple language we can understand. And the basic things are sugar, which we've talked about in this uh, video. We can get to have another perspective over the same and how it impacts our health. Guys, welcome. And also, I want to welcome you to our next video. Peace, guys. We love you very much.